So, have you ever tried to spray paint something and it turned out all bubbly and runny? Or, you spray painted something and it looked great for about a week or two, and then it looked like trash? Hey guys, I'm Joe with Blunk Pastor Automotive and Audio. Today, I'm going to show you how to spray paint literally anything and get amazing results every time. Alright, so let's first look at some materials that you're going to need, starting with paint. There are many different types of spray paint, and the type you need will vary depending on the material that you are painting, but a quick look at the can's label will provide a short list of the compatible surfaces. Second thing we're going to look at is surface prep items. This will include things like wire brushes, scotch bright. Additional items will include things like alcohol, Windex, and even sandpaper and water, depending on how OCD you are. And I also strongly suggest wearing some safety glasses and a respirator, which might be kind of hard to find, so I would suggest at least having an N95 mask. All right, so let's take it outside where I'm going to choose to paint today, and I will show you the three easy steps to success for spray painting literally anything. So the number one most important thing about painting, in my opinion, and this is why it's the first step, is surface prep. And surface prep is going to vary depending on the type of surface that you're planning on painting. Um, this is just a regular gloss finished paint, enamel paint. Um, for something like this, which is what we're going to be painting, I would suggest doing something like a scotch bright scotch bright is your friend uh, initially to just kind of knock off any of the hard things that might be on there uh, if anything is corroded this is also steel um, so you would start with that and then i like to use isopropyl alcohol to actually finish it another good thing believe it or not is windex so you can also get a lot deeper into it like if you have bare metal you might want to get an etching primer um, it's usually good to put primer onto bare metal a lot of the primers nowadays will go straight on to bare metal if you do have something heavily corroded i definitely suggest grabbing a wire brush and again scotch bright works very well for that um, you can use muriatic acid but uh that's a bit harsh now Stay tuned because if you're planning on spraying on clear coat, that's a little bit different, but uh, we'll kind of go through that. I actually have some failing clear coat on my 94 Buick Roadmaster, and if I was to scuff that up and try to spray on that, it's failing, so it would never, it would never adhere. But the point of surface prep is to get rid of any kind of corrosion or any foreign material that is on top of the paint. Now, if this was bare metal, it might be, you know, a little bit different. You might have to do some more steps. But since this is just paint, um, I'm just going to give it a good once over with the, with the scotch bright, and then probably clean it off with some Windex. Another thing I should mention here is if you're using galvanized, you can't really ever spray paint straight onto galvanized steel, but you want to use something with ammonia and then wipe it down very well with that, then you will be able to paint it. So number two is going to kind of be number two and number three together, but it couldn't be three easy steps if I had four steps. But they are going to be where and how, well, and when you paint. So I guess it's five easy steps. Starting with the where, um, I would always recommend to do outdoor painting, especially for any kind of amateur level uh, spray painting or anything like that. The big thing with spray painting is overspray. It's gonna get everywhere no matter what. Um, another thing with indoor is there's a lot of dust. You can go ahead and spray the floor with some water and uh, that will cut down on the dust, but you're still gonna have the overspray. I would definitely recommend having proper ventilation to pull some of that overspray out. But the one thing that doing indoor does do, it's easier to regulate your temperature as well as the humidity. So, Outdoor right now it's about 75 degrees. The humidity is very low, and I think it's a perfect time to actually paint. And then the how you're going to paint is kind of referring to. I always recommend to get some type of hook or something and be able to hang your piece if it's possible. You can kind of go all the way around it and spray it, you know, as needed. But what we're going to be doing is just painting on a surface. And I always recommend if you're doing this like on concrete or grass whatever lay down some cardboard or some newspaper and uh it's gonna make it a lot easier okay so here i have a black piece of metal um you might be wondering what this is for this is for my weight bench and this is just for demonstration purposes and um i went ahead and took all of these little black pieces off of there but for something like this 
what I'm going to do is just take some really good heavy scotch bright. Remember, scotch bright is your friend. And then just kind of go over all of the surfaces to rough it up as best as I can. This is a gloss enamel finish. Uh, I believe it's enamel. So this is going to do just fine. I will then, after that, take some alcohol and clean that off. One thing I didn't mention is to use some of your wife's uh, nice bath towels because usually they don't use fabric softener when they wash these and um, therefore you won't get any residual stuff coming off onto your surface after you have uh, cleaned it with the alcohol. Just gonna kind of really, kind of pretty good, get in the little nooks and crannies. Most paint will stick to rust uh, anymore. They will also stick to bare metal. Um, we could go down a whole rabbit hole about etching and um, spraying onto bare metal uh, without a primer, but this is just for simplicity. So now, just kind of, I put some alcohol on a rag. Now we're just going to go over everything. All right, so now we are on to spraying. This might be one of the most important. I would consider this part the second most important. And what I mean by that is how to actually spray it. I will show you with my very first coat that I do. Oh, we're doing silver, by the way, because I like to bling. You will tell by my very first coat that when you spray your first coat, you should never be able to see the color of what you're spraying completely. There should only be a little bit of coverage. What that is doing is this first coat is actually adhering to the surface and is curing and is like making a base. You want to have that good foundation because if you just go spraying on whatever, it's not going to stick and then any other coat you put on that, obviously, after that, isn't going to stick. So, and now what we do, you want to shake it for about two minutes. I'm more like a minute. I've never shaked one of these more than 30 seconds to be honest with you, but so what you want to do is when you're spraying something, you never want to start your spray in the center of your piece. You always want to overlap a little bit. I usually do about two to three inches, but that's for each coat. Now what you I like to do is to kind of go ahead and when you first, you know, after you get done shaking it, give a little test spray. That'll kind of show you your spray pattern. And as you can see, it's uh, about from eight inches away. It's about a, uh, I don't know, three inch circle. So that kind of allows me to know, and it seemed like to be a cone shape. That kind of tells me everything about my spray pattern and didn't seem to be coming out too blotchy. One last thing, it's always good to kind of clean the tip off. Mineral spirits is good for that. We're gonna do our first, our first uh, coat. And just on this side, I'm not gonna flip it over and do all that. I just wanna kinda get across the actual uh, painting strokes. So I will start about right here, about eight inches away. There's something already on there. Ha, <laughs> that's great. No worries, that will come off. So about eight inches away, and you don't want to go too fast and you don't wanna go too slow. As you can see, I kind of started a little bit on there but pretty much see how there's a little bit there that's this does a lot of coverage but that's fine if you see something like that and that literally is your first coat now this is showing a lot of the color kind of quick I guess it's because it's uh, silver on black as you can see we'll zoom in we do have right around there there's a bubble we also have right here a little hair that got in there but that's kind of no worries. What you can do is grab a little tweezers and pull that off, but what I like to do is just let it set up for a second and uh, just kind of pull it off. I do suggest tweezers, but 
Now what you want to do is wait about a minute or two between each coat and each coat should go exactly like that. So we'll kind of, I'll pause and elapse time between each one. That's the second coat. All right, so I guess it didn't turn out too bad. It actually looks pretty good, to be honest with you. All right, so now that's about it. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down in the comments. And, uh, or any tips for me, because I'm not the greatest painter in the world, but I do pretty well with spray paint. And uh, I think this can help you guys out a lot, actually. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one, and we'll see you in the next one. That's how you do it.